Hi, I'm Dr. Dave. The glossopharyngeal nerve is the ninth, I, X, of 12 pairs of cranial nerves, 24 nerves total. It exits the brainstem out from the sides of the upper medulla, just rostral, closer to the nose, to the vagus nerve. There are a number of functions of the glossopharyngeal nerve. It receives general sensory fibers, ventral trigema not hallamic tract, from the tonsils, the pharynx, the middle ear and the posterior one-third of the tongue. It receives special sensory fibers, taste, from the posterior one-third of the tongue. It receives visceral sensory fibers from the carotid bodies. It supplies parasympathetic fibers to the parotid gland via the otic ganglion. It supplies motor fibers to stylopharyngeus muscle, the only motor component of this cranial nerve. It contributes to the pharyngeal plexus. The glossopharyngeal nerve is mostly sensory. The glossopharyngeal nerve also aids in tasting, swallowing and salivary secretions. It's superior and inferior. Petrus, ganglia contain the cell bodies of pain fibers. It also projects into many different structures in the brainstem. Solitary nucleus. Taste from the posterior one-third of the tongue and information from carotid bearer receptors and carotid body chemo receptors. Spinal nucleus of the trigeminal nerve. Somatic sensory fibers from the middle ear. Lateral nucleus of Alabama cinerea. Visceral pain. Nucleus ambiguous. The lower motor neurons for the stylopharyngeus muscle. Inferior salivatory nucleus. Parasympathetic input to the parotid and mucous glands. From the medulla oblongata. The glossopharyngeal nerve passes laterally across the flocculus. And leaves the skull through the central part of the jugular foramen. In a separate sheath of the dura mater. Lateral to and in front of the vagus and accessory nerves. Within the jugular foramen, the glossopharyngeal nerve forms the superior ganglion. The glossopharyngeal nerve is also associated with an inferior ganglion. In its passage through the jugular foramen, it grooves the lower border of the petrous part of the temporal bone. And, at its exit from the skull, passes forward between the internal jugular vein and internal carotid artery. It descends in front of the latter vessel, and beneath the styloid process in the muscles connected with it, to the lower border of the stylopharyngeus. It then curves forward, forming an arch on the side of the neck and lying upon the stylopharyngeus and middle pharyngeal constrictor muscle. From there it passes under cover of the hyoglossus muscle, and is finally distributed to the palate and tonsil. The mucous membrane of the fosses and base of the tongue, and the mucous glands of the mouth. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.